Today marks the 68th Memorial Day in South Korea, when the country observes a holiday to remember those that fought and sacrificed themselves for their country. During the main ceremony at Seoul National Cemetery, President Yoon suk yeol stressed the importance of national defense and honoring the patriots. Our Kim do Young reports. As South Korea celebrates its 68th Memorial Day, President Yoon suk yeol took the opportunity to emphasize national defense in front of fallen heroes at Seoul National Cemetery. Pointing towards North Korea's missile and nuclear provocations, he touted the new Washington Declaration and the enhanced support it ensures. During his speech, he also took the chance to remind the country of the importance of remembering and honoring the fallen soldiers. Specifically, he repeated words, heroes, and freedom eight times in his nine-minute speech with words, remember and respect, also appearing for multiple times. This comes as the UN administration has reorganized the government to upgrade veteran affairs to full-fledged ministry status from the sub-ministry level. He also said the country has to pay tribute to the patriots and fallen soldiers to be recognized by the international community as a proper nation. The during the ceremony, President and First Lady Kim gun also attended the burial of a recently identified fallen soldier from the Korean War, Kim Bong-hak, as his body was laid alongside his brother Kim Sung-hak already resting at the Seoul National Cemetery. According to the spokesperson for the top office, President Yoon also paid an unexpected visit to the part of the cemetery where Vietnam War veterans and those that died fighting North Korean spies were laid. This part was made in 1981, and it was the first time a sitting president visited and paid their respects. According to an official at the top office, the move could be seen as a reminder of the alertness required for the nation with what's currently happening on the peninsula. Kim Do-yeon, Arirang News.